Hello, 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 hello. Hi, good evening. good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Are you, teacher? I am very happy to see you again and to listen to all of you. Thank you. And to listen to you, to be here in class with you another day. I am very, very glad to listen to you. How was your weekend? Uh, uh, so, so. <laughs> so, so, why so, so? Uh, because, um, how do you say in English, mucho trabajo? A lot of work. Uh, repeat, please. A lot of work. A lot of work. You had a lot of work, right? You had a lot of work. Good. This is the reason? That's the reason. That's is the that, reason. You say that's the reason. Is that the reason? Is okay. <laughs> so you had a lot of work. You had a lot of work. Was it very yeah. full on the weekend? Se llena mucho el, el gimnasio el fin de semana? Eh, no, 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 no. Lo que pasa es que como me estoy cambiando de trabajo. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh my god, so you need to do a lot of things. Yeah, it's very hard. I imagine. My god. Hello, Mr. Ivan. How are you? Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? I am doing good. Very happy to be here. I feel that I saw you ooh, a long time ago. Siento que lo vi hace como siete días. <laughs> and it was just, it was just Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, yeah. three days. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Gustavo, how are you? Hi, fine. Hello. I'm doing great. Very happy to be here. Happy fighting with the hot weather, the mosquitoes, everything. <laughs> yeah. Yes, everything. It's like very like in Hollywood, creo que ya estamos con un pie en Semana Santa y todo el calor, las chicharras, todo se junta, los mosquitos, everything. Well, so we're going to continue working uh, on what we were doing on the last class. We were having a very delicious class uh, last week. We were talking about food, right? We were talking about food and the different categories and the different uh, groups of uh, food that we might have. Do you remember a specific vocabulary from the last class? A specific vocabulary from the last class? What do you remember? Uh -huh. Vocabulario en específico de la clase pasada. What do you remember? Vimos como mil cosas la clase pasada. For example, uh, speak about uh, vegetable. Mm -hmm. Vegetables. Uh, what else? Uh, fruits. Fruits. Um, 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 vegetables, fruits, snacks. I, snacks. I like, I don't like. I like, I don't like, I hate. Good, very good. Huh? Yeah. 
creo que me quedé el fin de semana, estaba en alguna fiesta ahí, se quedó el vocabulario. <laughs> okay, so we talk about fruits, vegetables, the different categories, the things that you like, the things that you don't like, the things that you hate. And for sure, we were talking about categories of sweets, grains, uh, food from the ocean, right? We were talking about seafood. And we were talking there about fish, the oysters, the uh, octopus, and all the animals from the ocean that people like to eat. And things that you really hate. What is something, and this is a question for everybody, what is something strange that you like to eat, but people don't normally eat? Algo que le guste comer, que a la gente normalmente no le guste, o diga, ¿qué es eso? He's like, what? What are you eating? ¿Qué estás comiendo? Uh -huh. What is something is strange that you like to eat that many people don't eat or they feel strange at the moment of eating? I don't know if it's, if it's strange, but I like, how do you say, aceitunas? Um, they are olives. Olives. Olives, I, I, I love the olives, uh, black and green. <laughs> it, it, you eat them just like that? Yes, I eat alone. <laughs> my mother loves the olives and I don't I like them. My mother too. Yeah, mm -hmm. ah, so maybe that's when you heritage mm -hmm. from. But my mother loves the olives and it's like, si por ella fuera le pusiera aceitunas a todo. And I don't like them, but it's something curious. You know, I like, <laughs> don't laugh, I like quesadilla, but the quesadilla, the bread, mm -hmm. with beans. <laughs> it's <been> strange. <laughs> my, my husband always says, like, what are you doing? What are you eating? It's like, it's very good. You should try it, right? But I like quesadilla with beans. Ivan, what is something strange that you like? Uh, for example, I like the drink of carao, but uh, <laughs> yeah. este, many people don't like it. Exactly. Many people don't like it because of the smell. They say that it's strange, right? Exactly. The, let's see. Uh, Gerardo, what is something strange that you like but people don't like? Mr. Gerardo? We lost Gerardo. Elmer, what is something strange that you like but people don't like? Uh... I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Something strange? Everything, it's normal for you. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Salvador? Um, calamar y octopus. Okay, A squid and octopus. A squid yeah. and octopus. Squid, squid and ah, octopus. Squid and octopus. Okay. Squid and octopus. Yeah, I don't like squid that. Squid and octopus. Luis Gonzalez, what is something strange that you don't, uh, well, that you eat and mean many people don't eat? Don't eat eggs of, or turtle. Turtle eggs. You eat or you don't uh, eat? No, no, don't eat. You don't eat them. You don't like don't them. Eat. And something right. strange that you eat? Um, uh, no, I, I know the idea in this moment. <laughs> no idea, right? But everything is it's very normal for you. What about you, Mario? Mm, maybe eggplant. Eggplant? Yes. No te van a dejar salir, okay. <laughs> no te van a dejar salir, you see. Eggplant. <laughs> Mr. Gerardo? 
Where is that eggplant? Eggplant, berenjena. Ah, okay. Eggplant. Yeah. Eggplant. Sorry. Okay, and Gerardito. I lost Gerardito. He hasn't come back. Okay, so those are strange things that we like and many people don't like. You know, I have a friend who eats bread with orange. I mean, he cuts the orange and he puts it in the bread and he eats it like that. Yum, 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 yum. It's like, okay, freak. I said, some people put fried bananas in bread and they eat it like that, right? Or bananas and bread uh, with beans and they eat it like that. And let's see another strange thing that I have seen. Uh, nachos or tortillita nacho with uh, curtido and lemon and mango. Pregnancy. Yeah, it's like- Pregnancy. Uh, pregnancy, who's pregnant? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's pregnancy? It's uh, when you are waiting for a baby. Maybe you are expecting or you are not expecting it, but that's pregnancy. <laughs> Surprise. That's pregnancy. <laughs> Yeah. Bueno, en realidad eso sería la, de, la definición de embarazo. Surprise. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Hello, it's me. <laughs> We're going to do this little exercise. And I have here the different categories. I have here vegetables, meat and other protein, dairy foods, grains, drinks, and desserts, right? Do you know what's the meaning of desserts? No es desierto, Postre. okay? Postres. Postre. Postres, very good. Drinks, right? Drinks, grains, todos los frutos secos y los eh, granos básicos. Dairy, all the products derived from milk, meat, and protein, mm. all the ones that come from animals. Here, you are going to give me Affirmative sentences and negative sentences. For example, here you have, I like apples and mangoes. I don't like bananas. For the fruits, you have to give me things that you like and things that you don't like. For the vegetables, you can say, I like cucumber and onion, but I don't like uh, garlic. It can be one example. Meat and other protein, I like chicken and I don't like meat. For the dairy, I like milk, but I don't like yogurt. For the grains, I like beans, but I don't like rice. For the drinks, I like water, but I don't like soda. It can be one example. And for the desserts, I like cake, but I don't like ice cream. Okay, I gave you examples on all the categories. I need you to write two sentences on each category. One affirmative and one negative, okay? I'm going to give you one minute to do this. Go ahead. Use the vocabulary for each of the categories. Let's do this. Write the sentences on each of the categories, affirmative and negative.
Let me know when you finish, okay? Did you finish with all the categories? Terminamos, chicos? No. No. Okay. I will give you one more minute. Hey. My goodness. So I am going to give you different categories each and you are going to give me the examples that I mentioned, okay? I am going to have Mr. Gustavo with the vegetables, uh, Mr. Jairo, meat and other proteins, Ivan with the dairy food, Gerardo with the grains, uh, Elmer with the drinks, Salvador with the desserts, uh, Luis with the fruits, Mario with the vegetables, and that's it, okay? Mr. Gustavo, okay. go ahead. Okay, I like tomatoes and carrots. I don't, love, I don't like eggplant. Very good job, I don't like eggplant, right? What about Mr. Jairo? Give me a moment, que me voy conectando. Don't worry, don't worry. I give you two. <laughs> Ivan, uh, go ahead. Um, I like, teacher uh, uh, is in vegetable or meat? Uh, give me vegetables. Vegetable. Okay, I like each plant. Huh? Uh, I don't like squash. I like eggplant and I don't like squash. Uh, Mr. Gerardo, go ahead. Teacher, I'm ready. Okay, hey, go ahead. I like, oh my God, all meat and protein. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, discard, yes. discard one. Mm. You can, you can invent, I mean. I don't like sausages. Sausages, right? Sausages. I don't, I don't like them either. I don't like sausages. Right. But in the choris? This is the problem. Ah, this is the problem. <laughs> Whoosh, the sausages. Eh. Aha, but in the choris? Mm, very delicious. The <laughs> jamón, la pastilla, y el bacon, la carne, los huevos, el pe... No. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, bacon, bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? Right. Hay unos, hay unos enrolladitos de plátano frito con tocino. My God, they are very good. Right. Pones el, el, el plátano, así, eh, el plátano para freír y lo enrollas con tocino. Con Ajá, y lo enrollas con tocino y le pones un palillo y lo echas a freír. O en air fryer, ahí. Eh. Nadie me paga por este. O sea, le gusta la piña, la, la pizza con piña, entonces. Ya. Yeah. 
The Hawaiian pizza. Yes, I like the Hawaiian pizza. O cuando estás haciendo carne asada, pones las rodajas de piña ahí en la parrilla. It's very good. <laughs> It's very good. <laughs> y después todos con hambre aquí. <laughs> Elmer, what is your example? Uh, my example drinks. Uh -huh. I like orange juice. I don't like. And I don't like uh, tomato juice. I don't like tomato juice either. No, it's a BH. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really like it. It's the tomato. Yeah, but what about yeah. in, a, in, a, in a Bloody it, Mary? Huh? A Michelada. <laughs> I don't like Micheladas. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't like Micheladas. <laughs> no, I don't like it because of the black sauce that they put it. Por la... No, pero hay bicheladas con, con jugo de tomate y no le ponen salsa negra. I don't like bicheladas. No. I don't know why. I don't like maybe, to... maybe because I don't like beer. That's why. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> no, I mean, that I would say like, okay, give me one, uh, I don't know, rey or something like that. Yo, yo, alone? I don't like it. Maybe with lemon and salt and things, but along, eh, no, I don't like it. Just vodka. Oh, well, I like I like the, the special girly drinks. Los tragos de niña. Tequila. <laughs> no, I respect tequila. I respect it. Yeah. Yeah, rico. <laughs> I respect that one too. And also, what is the other one that it's very Salvadorian? Eh, eh, that one for sure. I respect that one too. Oh, no, no, no. Hay cosas que se... <laughs> for example, eh, yeah, chapar. Salvador, what is your example? Eh, my example, I eh, dessert. Ajá. I like eh, stress leches and cheesecake. I don't like chocolate. You don't like chocolate? Really? No. Wow. No. Yes. Y yo que les traí un pastel de chocolate a la casa. <laughs> I'm very sorry for you. Okay, so you don't like chocolate. Uh, but it's no, like chocolate. Three milk cake. Three milk yeah, uh, three, cake. Three milk cake. Good, okay. very good. Mario Saldivar, what is your example? Okay. Um, vegetable. Um, I like cucumber and mushroom. Uh huh. I don't like eggplant. Yeah, I don't like eggplant either. Yeah, it's very horrible. Exactly. Mr. Gerardo, Gerardo, are you back? Ay, nos trae tres pupusas a cada uno, por favor. He is outside. Okay. Here, we are going to go with the second part of this topic. We have studied a lot of vocabulary. We have studied a lot of vocabulary, but among this vocabulary, we have two specific categories. For example, we have the countable things and the uncountable things. Countables are the ones that you can count and that you can make plural, right? For example, apple, You can say one apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, etc. right? Carrots, coconuts, mango, strawberries, bananas, watermelon, pear, lollipop, and candies. Most of these ones you can count and you can make plural, right? Todos estos los podemos contar y los podemos hacer plurales, right? All this ones, right? We can count them and we can make them plural. But what is the difference with the uncountables? from the uh, countables, that the uncountables, we cannot make them plural. We cannot say milks, sugars, waters. You cannot do that, right? Rices, oils, no, right? Because it's not correct, right? It's not correct, right? Here, you don't, you don't say ju juices, right? Coffees. In these cases, all the uncountables are always singular, right? Because you cannot make them plural and you cannot count them because you sell or you buy these ones in a specific containers. For example, if you go to the supermarket, you don't say 
me da eh, un, un leche, por favor. No, right? You say a box, a bag, a can, a dozen, a little, right? A little, uh, I just forgot how to say little. Oh my God, I forgot. It. Let me just check it. Little. Uh -huh. But I, I don't remember the specific writing. Let me Litter. check. Little, a little off. Or you can say a gallon. Bottle. A bottle. Yeah. A bottle, right? A bottle. Un bal. <laughs> 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 well, yes, but uh, in this case, no. <laughs> here, here we have a, a liter. Yes, I knew it was like that. A liter. A liter of milk. Liter, right? A liter. And those are the forms that you use in order to buy or to get this type of uh, food. Here you can say a cup of, a spoon full of, a spoonful of, es una cucharada, sopera, a teaspoon of, right? A bowl, and let's see, I think it's just that one, a glass. A glass, very good, right? So those are the different containers that you can use in order to ask for the different uncountables. You can go to the supermarket and buy a box of milk, a liter of milk, a bag of milk, right? If you go and buy, uh, for example, sugar, you say, I want a bag or a pound of sugar. A pound is una libra, right? A libra. Yeah. Right, and you can use it like that. For the water, how do you buy the water? The water, right? Gallon. Not, not a another bottle. thing. A gallon. A gallon, a bottle. A, bottle. A, bottle. a liter. A liter, right? You a cannot bag. you cannot buy a box of water, right? <clears throat> because it will be like, no, right? You can buy a bottle, a gallon, right? Or a, a, a big, a, well, you can have a glass of a glass of water as glass well. Water. A glass of water, un vaso. You can have a glass of water. How do you buy the juice? The juice. How do you buy the juice? A gallon. A gallon, a gallon. right? How do you buy the coffee? A, a, a box a or a bag, right? Or a cup, a cup of coffee, right? Very good. How do you buy the rice? A pound. A, bag. a pound, right? A pound of rice. So this is the difference between the countables and the uncountables, right? Because uh, the countable ones, you can say, give me one mango, give me two mangoes, three mangoes, one banana, two bananas, etc. But for the uncountable ones, you say, here you can have also a little or a bunch. A bunch es un puño, una puñada, right? A punch of. For example, if you're going to eat spaghetti, you can have a bunch of spaghetti, right? A big thing, a big bowl, right? You can also have a bowl of spaghetti when you eat or when you serve this type of food, okay? And let me see, I have here a little exercise. Right now I am going to have, let me see, I have 11 people, I have 10 people. We are going to make two groups and I need you please to create a recipe with your group. It's going to be something simple, but I need you to tell me the ingredients that you use for the recipe, okay? Don't tell me about, I don't know, Christmas chicken, right? that you need a hundred ingredients. Mire, vamos a hacer pavo navideño. 
con estos mil ingredientes. No, something simple that we can prepare, but that you need ingredients. For example, a hamburger or chicken soup or spaghetti or pizza, right? How do you prepare it? And what type of ingredients do you need? So I am going to divide the group in two groups and each group is going to create a recipe. I need you to create the list of ingredients and a little bit of the procedure, how to prepare it, okay? So I am going to send you right now to working groups and what you are going to work on the group is the following. You are going to create our recipe, right? You are going to create your recipe with the ingredients and the things that you need for this specific type of food. Don't tell me about cornflake, okay? Ingredients, cornflake and milk. Ta-da! <laughs> look, look for maruchan. You need the maruchan and water. Ta-da! <laughs> it's something a little bit more complicated, okay? So let's go to the groups and I am going to give you around five minutes to do this. So please work fast. There you go. You're going to receive the invitation to go to the groups. And I am going to go and check only, okay? Voy a ver qué es lo que están haciendo. And if you are practicing your English, for sure, I am going to stop by the groups, okay? Accept my invitation. There you go. Accept my invitation. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. I am missing a, let's see. I think I have, I am going to move Jairo because he needs to be in the same room. There you go. Mr. Ivan, accept my invitation. Teacher, I have a problem with my computer. What happened? Uh, how do you say se trabó? Ah, sí, porque lo veo congelado. Ok, entonces si quiere, sálgase y vuelve a entrar y después le vuelvo a meter al grupo. Ok. Ok. Ok, good. Okay, so most of the students are working right now. They are creating a recipe in order to practice the vocabulary that they have acquired with the different types of food. So we are going to go and visit the different rooms to see how they are doing and how they are working. Let's go and check. Brown, 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 br
<laughs> I like it. Batamos ahí, batamos con la salsa. Es algo que es. It's tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Sauce. S A U C E. Sauce. Like sauce. 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 Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Yeah, don't put ketchup on that one, okay? La ketchup no va con los espaguetis. Okay, continue, no. continue. Okay. Sí. Sigo de incógnito. Sí. <laughs> Um, ok, repasemos entonces. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, sería ingredient for lasagna. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ingredientes para una lasaña. Ok. Ingredients for lasagna, right? Ingredients. Ingredients for lasagna. For lasagna. Uh -huh. okay. Pasta. Pasta. Base. Pasta, mm. base, base, a pound of cheese, uh -huh. a pound of cheese, a pound of ground of beef, uh -huh. a pound of ground meat, correcto, mm -hmm. and two cup tomato tomato sauce, sauce, okay, mm -hmm. a cup okay, uh, mm. a cup, a uh, cup of oil, aceite, mm -hmm. a cup. Of oil. A, cup, a, cup of a cup of oil. oil. Okay. A cup of oil. A, a, a cup, cup of oil or a cup of oil? A cup of oil. A cup of oil. A, okay. cup, of. a cup of oil. Una uh -huh. copa de aceite. Una, okay. una mm -hmm. taza sería en este caso. Uh -huh. Una taza. Uh -huh. And ground beef, it's correct, right? Ground beef. One pound uh -huh. of ground beef. Okay. A pound of ground beef. A pound of ground beef. Mm -hmm. A pound of ground of meat. A ground beef. Beef. A ground beef. 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 <laughs> Carne molida, right? A pound mm, yeah. of ground beef. <clears throat> Very good. Y, y, y si yo le quiero poner un ingrediente al gusto, ¿cómo se dice? Um, al... Of to taste. It's like to taste. taste. It's like salt to taste. Salt, salt to al gusto. Taste. Salt to taste. Uh -huh. So to say maybe uh, <laughs> mushrooms, mushroom, mushroom, yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. oh, mushroom, <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> mushroom. Mush mushrooms, 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 mushrooms to taste. Okay, My I am mushroom. I am going to go and check your friends. Okay, voy a ver a los otros niños que están haciendo. Okay, continue. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Did you finish? Yes. We yes. did the La Poderosa Hamburger. Hey, hamburger. Yeah, that's that's something good. Easy, nice, and and cheap, right? Depending. If you get <laughs> if you get crazy with the ingredients, my God. A lot of <laughs> ingredients. Yeah, a normal hamburger, just like the vegetables and, and that's it, right? And the meat. Cheese and meat. The what do you say, meat or beef? Meat. It can be, be it can be both, right? Both are correct. If you say meat or okay. beef. For, in, but, in this case, in this case, um, for meat. You meat. say. Okay. Yeah, meat or ground beef. Ground beef, it's carne molida, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. okay. Ground beef. Or in okay. some cases, they call it patties. The patties are the... The, the circle of the beef. Exactly like that. The patties. And let's see. Okay, we're going to add him here. Ah, no, he was in the other group. And the, and the name... For this hamburger, what is the name of your of your dish? La poderosa. La po the, the powerful. <laughs> powerful. The powerful. La monstruosa, cuatro pisos. <laughs> Monster hamburger. Ayúdame yeah. a vivir. Monster. <laughs> no es like si sobrevive me avisas. <laughs> Ataca el corazón. They are like this. I mean, how do you buy that? I mean, like, exactly. ah. Hair attack. Exactly, exactly. A heart attack, right? For heart sure. Attack. 
like Homer Simpson. He was going to that. Let's see. Okay. So if you have it ready, we are going to go back to the group. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Good, so welcome back, my dear groups. Here we are going to listen to our expert chef. This is Master Chef in the Corporativo. And we are going to work on two specific recipes. Our chefs today are going to present two very delicious dish. One, it's the most famous spaghetti or the town. And I think, oh no, sorry, they are going to prepare lasagna, right? Mm -hmm. And we have in the other team, we have the powerful. They are going to present the powerful hamburger, right? So we are going to listen to our group explaining how to create lasagna. Go ahead, group. <laughs> How do you prepare lasagna? Yours? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Ingredient for lasagna. Okay. Uh, paste. Paste. A pound cheese. A pound uh, ground, ground beef. beef. Okay. To cut tomato sauce. A cup of oil. Mm -hmm. A cup oil of the oil. Salt to taste. Mm -hmm. Mushroom to test. Mushroom to, to taste. taste. Uh -huh. Mushroom to taste. And pepper. Pepper and to salt. Uh -huh. Pepper to taste and salt. Okay. And a gallon of orange juice. <laughs> a, gallon of... <laughs> a gallon of orange juice gallon. okay yeah. i i didn't i didn't get it i didn't get it when you were explaining when you say paste and i was like paste, paste. what is that i say paste is pegar <laughs> but in the in the food you say pasta pasta is pasta ah. Right? Ah. and i was like paste i said Paste, maybe with silicone or with paste. I said, like, what's that? I said, a que le van a de los años. A que le van a pegar, decir. A cup of, a cup of oil, right? A cup of oil. And uh, that's it. Good. Thank you very much for our lasagna team. Aren't you going to use cheese? Yes. What type of cheese do you use for the lasagna? Uh, blue cheese. Uh, it depends. No, okay. Parmesan cheese. Okay, um, Parmesan. Oh, mix, taco mix. <laughs> blue cheese. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I put quesillo from the market. Quesillo. Sí, yes, <laughs> que sí. El nicaragüense. Del corriente. El nicaragüense. Del corriente. Del corriente. Del corriente. Del corriente. Del corriente. Capita con Lorocois. <laughs> no, but capita with capita with Loroco is very good for, for lasagna. If you are if you are preparing a ya, chicken, ya lo probado. Yes. <laughs> <I'll ahorrante todo. laughs> so no, but if you if you put a, a capita cheese with Loroco and chicken in the lasagna, it's very delicious. Mm. Ah, sorprenda. Mm. Bueno, digan a su esposa, lo vi en YouTube. Dice, no, es la teacher me dijo, ¿qué es la techa? <risa> en YouTube, esposas de todos mis estudiantes aquí aplicados, ellos son oh, de 100%, 100% hechos y derechos. Ok, now we are going to learn how to make a hamburger, the powerful one. Go ahead, who is going to explain it? Explain cook, the uh, powerful. Hamburger, 
la poderosa o el the powerful. We need, you need bread, meat, ham, bacon, tomatoes, lettuce, mushroom, cucumber, onions, jalapeño pepper, chipotle sauce, mustard, ketchup, ketchup, mayonnaise, two slices of cheese, and you can eat with soda and fries. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's a powerful hamburger. I mean, yeah, it's like. Tacos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hambre, ¿eh? <laughs> Imagine after class, it's like, quiero un hamburguesa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would be like it's it's 10 p.m. It's like get on the last time mm -hmm. <laughs> at the end of the night. So you see, uh, we were working on the different creations of the uh, recipes, and it was good that you use the vocabulary from the uh, uncountable nouns when you say a bag of a pound, right? Um, two slices of right? And you were describing the different ingredients with also a vocabulary from the class that we were studying. That was really, really, really good. So thank you for the recipe, my dear students. Here I have a short conversation Thanks. about a, a recipe. And in this one, they are going to cook what? What are they going to cook? Sandwiches? Sandwiches, sandwiches, right? They are going to cook sandwiches. Can you tell me some of the ingredients that they have? Chicken. Um, ingredients chicken that they, they have. They don't have or they have? That they have. They have chicken. Chicken. Have some chicken. And I think that's the only thing that they have. Only that. <laughs> only that, <laughs> right? No. Because, <laughs> because they but don't have don't bread. Have bread. They don't have cheese. They don't have drinks. And they sure don't have any potato salad, right? So the question is, what do you want for the picnic? ¿Qué quieres para el picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches, right? Sandwiches. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad. And it says, sure, everyone likes potato salad. Here, when you use words like, for example, some and any, we use them to express different types of quantities that we have or that we don't have. Some is for affirmative sentences. Affirmative, affirmative sentences. And any, it's for Negative. negatives and questions. In this one, you say, how about some sandwiches? ¿Qué tal unos sandwiches? Right? And it says, yes, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. Tenemos un poco de pollo en el refri. But we don't have any, we don't have any bread. O sea, no tenemos nada. Tenemos nada de pan. Nada de pan, right? We don't have any bread. Vamos a esperar a que pase el panadero. Y nunca pasa. Cuando no quiere pan, piqui, 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 all the afternoon. <laughs> we don't have in the any morning. Yeah, in the morning. Wake up. Hey, wake up. <laughs> el pan. <laughs> La llena. <laughs> <laughs> Me ha pasado. <laughs> y se va. Porque no alcancé a ponerme la otra allí. And we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. No tenemos nada de queso. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Potato salad. Okay, and it says, sure, everyone likes potato salad. Do you like potato salad, people? Yes, I like. The Russian, yes, I like. Yeah. The Russian salad, or yeah. do you, do you like uh, potatoes with apples? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I like it. Potatoes with tuna. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 Yes. Curiously, it's very good. 
the salad of potatoes with tuna it's good but mm. it's not my favorite i don't like tuna ah because you don't like tuna that's why mm -hmm. but potatoes with uh, apple it's very good potatoes mm -hmm. with beet for the russian salad it's very mm -hmm. good too it's good with, with very, yogurt. Very good. yogurt with yogurt yes really i haven't tried with yogurt uh -huh. Mm. Yogurt so, and, and, and so. uh, <laughs> sin sabor, pero es que es un yogur algo ah, simple. Natural. Natural. Uh -huh. natural. Natural. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. Yogurt griego, blue cheese, uh -huh. no sé qué. O sea, you are very fancy students. Wow. Other level. Other level. Another level. Okay. <laughs> no, yo queso capita, you said blue cheese. <laughs> Oh Yo hago mi propio yogur, lo dejo ahí poniéndose en el <risa> Uy, ustedes compran yogur, yo lo hago. Yo lo fabrico. Ok. Oh my God. <risa> Students, what do you want for the picnic? Ajá. Un sándwich. A box of beer. <risa> A for beer. the picnic. A box of beer. No. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Um, yeah, so chori. <laughs> Todo me Snack. corrompen chori. aquí. Churritos. <laughs> Choris en churritos, en, en, en pieces of carnitas. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Seriousness. Okay. <clears throat> What do you want for the picnic? <laughs> Mm. How about mm. some how about, about some, some sandwich? sandwich? <laughs> say, mm, how about some sandwich? <laughs> mm, mm, thinking right. Mm, how about some sandwiches? Mm. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And, and we, we don't, don't, don't have, have any cheese. cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, no. we need, we need oh. some. We need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. So in this case, I will ask Hazel and Elmer to practice the conversation. Go ahead. Um, okay. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the... Refrigerator. 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 But don't have any bread. Refrigerator. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, but we don't have, no, and we don't have any cheese. Oh, and we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drink? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Very good job, for my students who did a very, very nice job. So, thank you. Thank you. In this one, I am going to ask a little question here for everybody. Tell me. Strawberries are good for you or bad for you? For you. Or excellent uh, for you? Uh, yeah, good strawberry for are good for me. What about cake? They're good for me. Cake. Mm -hmm. You love the cake. Depending on the me. cake. Depending, depending. Yeah, we the strawberries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Bad so, for me. Cake in any of the types of categories that you like, is it good for you, bad for you, or excellent for you, or not really good? It's not really good for me. Hmm. What about the lettuce? It's good. It's good. It's, it's good. good. It's good. good. Fish. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. Perfect. Perfect. It's what about potato chips? Excellent. 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 Perfect. What about the eggs? Excellent. <laughs> excellent. The eggs excellent. are excellent. <laughs> what about <laughs> potatoes? Good. 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 Good for me. Good. Pizza. 
very excellent. Perfect. 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 <laughs> what about the beans? It's good. Mm. It's good. You are Salvadorian. You have to say that they are perfect. <laughs> Black and white. Yeah. Well, uh, beans. You know, I have to confess that I don't like the black ones. Ah. Sorry, I don't like the black beans. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> I if if you invite me in a house and and they serve it, I eat it. But I don't like them. What about the yogurt? It's good, good, bad, excellent, perfect. It's good. Good. Um, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's good. What about the cookies? Perfect. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. The picnic cookies, right? They are very good. And what about the broccoli? It's good. It's good. Excellent. Good. Excellent. Good. good. Right. <clears throat> the with picnic lemon. cookies with lemon. With lemon. Cuando se comen una galleta picnic y la mitad de la galleta termina en pozoles sobre usted. <laughs> and you are like, yummy, yummy, <laughs> yummy, yummy. All the picnic cookies, all over here. And they are very good. So they are, they are very good cookies. So here, I am going to go with the grammar of this section for us to finish this class. Here we have some and any, right? The use of some and the use of any for countables and uncountable nouns that are the ones that we already studied, right? When it say, do we have any eggs, right? Uh, that's a question and for the questions you use any. And so like, do we have any bread? And for the affirmative sentences, you answer with some. And for the negatives, you use any. We don't need any or we don't have any. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some, yes. or no, we don't need any. For the countable and uncountable nouns, you have N for the words that begin with a vowel, right? An egg for the singulars and for the plurals, eggs with the S. A sandwich and sandwiches in plural, right? And the non-count nouns that are the uncountables that we studied, los nombres incontables que estudiamos al principio de la clase, we have bread and lemonade, right? In this one, we don't add S. You don't say breads or lemonades, right? <laughs> it's incorrect. It says, I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. And in general, to express about this, you say eggs are good for you and bread is good for you. Okay, so the last thing that we are going to do in class, we are going to use some in any. I need you to think about your refrigerator. ¿Se acuerdan de su refri? ¿Ya han ido a su refri en este momento de la noche antes de entrar a clase? ¿Vieron, okay. ¿vieron su refri? No. Yes, no? No. I am no. not in my house. <laughs> so, it's full. I am not in my house. <laughs> it's full of water. It's clean. <laughs> it's clean. I need you to it's give me one sentence with some and one sentence with any about the things that you have in your refrigerator. I am going to give you the example. And I am going to give you the example in my refrigerator. In my refrigerator, there is some milk and there aren't any tortillas. So there is some milk and there aren't any tortillas in my refrigerator. And for sure also there isn't any ice. Me muero, no tengo ni hielo. There isn't any ice. What is something that you have in your, refri in your refrigerator and something that you don't have? Give me the sentence and you can go to sleep. El que vaya dando la oración se puede ir a dormir. Go ahead. In my refrigerator, there is some milk. Uh -huh. And the, there aren't any slices of, of jam. There aren't any slices of jam. Okay, Jairo, you can go to sleep. Have a beautiful night. Next. Thank you. Bye. Me, teacher. Go ahead. 
in my refrigerator there is some jocotes. There are some mom beans. There are, there are, there are some there jocotes. Are some eh? mom beans, mom beans. Mom, mom beans? Mom, mom beans. Yes. And, and there aren't any drink. There aren't any drinks. Okay, put no, some water nothing. there. See you tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye, Elmer. Next. See you tomorrow, teacher. Me? Go ahead. Me, uh, in, in my refrigerator, there are some mangoes. Mangoes, uh huh. They are in uh, tortillas, honey tortillas. There aren't any tortillas. Okay, so go and prepare some tortillas, Mr. Luis. <laughs> See you tomorrow in class. Bye bye. Next okay. teacher. Go ahead. Uh, in my refrigerator. In there my is so <laughs> listen, Salvador. <laughs> refrigerator. Refrigerator. Yes, there is some. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. easier, easier. In my fridge. In my fridge. Okay. There In are... my fridge, there is some bananas, apple, uh, mango, and they aren't any tortillas. Okay. In my refrigerator, there are some mangoes, some bananas, some apples, right? There are, because it's. Oh, food. there are. Okay. There are. There are. And there are. There aren't any tortillas, okay? Go to get some tortillas. Thank you, Salvador. Who's next? Okay. Me. Go ahead, Gustavo. In my refrigerator, there are, there are some apples. Uh, there aren't any bread or there... There isn't or, because there it's isn't. uncountable. Yes, there isn't any bread and there isn't any cheese. There isn't any cheese. Okay, so mm. tomorrow go and stop okay. by the supermarket. <laughs> See you tomorrow, <laughs> bye Gustavo. Bye bye. Let's continue <clears throat> with Marvin. Go ahead. Uh, in my refrigerator, there is some lemonade. Uh huh. There aren't any eggs. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there That's isn't it. any jam. And there, there isn't, isn't any jam. jam. Very good job. Thank you. Go to the supermarket for the jam. Thank you very much, okay. Mr. Marvin. <laughs> Mario, okay, go ahead. Have a good night. Mr. Mario, go ahead. Okay, my refrigerator. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I tengo una llamada, sorry. Don't worry. Um, my refrigerator. Um, there is some eggs. There, uh, there, there, are, aren't there are. There aren't some any? eggs. Any? Okay, las negativas son con any. There aren't any eggs. There aren't any eggs. And the positive? And the positive, there is some uh, apples. There are some apples. There are some plural. apples. There are some uh -huh. apples. Good. Thank you, Mario and Hazel. Thank you. Go ahead. Hazel? Hola, um, in my refrigerator, there are some orange apple. There aren't any tortillas. Very good. There are some oranges. <laughs> there are some oranges because it's plural. There are some oranges and there are some apples. Okay, thank you, okay. Hazel. See you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Okay, see you tomorrow, everybody then. Bye-bye.